guys welcome back to another episode of the analog addict we are coming to you live from halfway up a mountain and uh, <laughs> we are taking a look at this fantastic les paul i gotta say we've owned a few les pauls in our day but this is this I, one's sweet man this, this one's, one's probably really my favorite really like and i'm not just saying that for the video like i really think this one's my favorite like i haven't played one like this before i, I used it either. it was in my hands for like five seconds i was like this is an excellent instrument <laughs> And that fretboard, it's so smooth. It's got the binding, mm -hmm. so you don't like catch a fret or anything like that. You don't have to worry about that. It just feels really nice. Plus, it's got a pretty slim, like Definitely, tapered. Yeah, the profile is thin. Yeah, it's a sure. '60s style neck. Mm -hmm. Like I would say, like confidently say that. So, yeah. what are we thinking year-wise on this thing? So, I don't know entirely because the guy that I bought it from claims that it's a '97. Now, when I look up the serial number, it could either be from the late 80s or around that time. So it was the serial number gave you a span. It gave, me, it gave me a couple options. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So with that being said, there's also some checking that's happening on the headstock. I'll get some close-up footage of that later. Sure. But uh, the thing that really just throws me for a loop is the fact that the Gibson logo is actually the old school mother of pearl, like it, an inlay. It's popping, too. And it absolutely absolutely comes out um, yeah it just it plays amazing it looks really cool it's a work you, of art man absolutely it's if you're of one art. of those people that actually wants your guitar to like vintage nicely this is the, absolutely the one so this is like the era that they were using nitro finishes and so you'll get a lot of that classic checking that you can expect to see out of like some of the vintage fenders. Now, is there any value to the checking? Is, is that a sought after thing? So, or what's, how does that work? So it depends. If you're the type of person that likes the look of like a well-loved, well-played guitar, <laughs> then absolutely it's worth it. But if you're someone who's like, ah, I just want it pristine no matter what, like keep it in yeah. its case the whole life, I'm this a collector. This is a player's instrument for sure. This is, this is a sure. player's instrument. To a, to a degree, I think. I mean, honestly, it is a beautiful instrument. Mm -hmm. I don't want to downplay that because you do have a little bit of yellowing on the binding. Like, it's just aging. I love how these instruments age. George Clooney of guitar. Can <laughs> yeah. we say George Clooney? Uh, I don't Boop know. Boop Clooney? <laughs> Boop Clooney. <laughs> I like just... The new name of this guitar is Boop, Boop Clooney. Clooney. Buy the Boop Clooney. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, I, sh I should also mention we're playing through the Mesa Express 550 mm -hmm. Plus right now on this. Uh, mic'd just up we by a? Mic'd up by an SM57 going into a Scarlet 2i2. <sighs> and we're just hearing the beauty that is saturated tube tones with P90 pickups. Yeah. Yes, it's unbelievable. Uh, it's, the clean channel on this amp is everything to us. Yeah, why don't you play us a little something on this guy? Were they designed for a specific reason? Are they a jazz pickup? What's the what's traditionally behind that story? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I I know that like the early stages of P90s were like in a lot of um, like I don't know what the first one. I think the dog ear P P90 yeah, was the yeah. first design. Maybe the Jazzmaster P90. That's really hard for me to say. Soap bar. That's, that's soap, soap bar, bar is what's in these. I think. Oh man, so I'm Martin. bad at I'm bad at guitar history, but um, <laughs> but I will say that regardless of their age or anything like that, that is my favorite P90 yeah. so far, by I mean, far. They just they spark. That's more your style, of chicken pegging. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I love. Like, the word that you're going to hear more than anything else when people talk about P90s is bite. Bite, yeah. And... But I would say 
I would go one step further. It's not only bite, it's growl. It's when you hear those yeah. sustained frequencies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does have like some sort of like breath I of, sort of life have... into those low mids and mid frequencies. There's not the P90 doesn't really leave me wanting anything. No. No, it's it's very full. It's Absolutely. warm, dynamic. It gives you that string articulation that you mm -hmm. want too. So you, you like we were talking about the Stratocaster a couple videos ago. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. That was a good time. CIJ. CIJ. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, like you don't lose the string articulation, but you do gain a lot of fullness. Like to me, this is like halfway in between like a classic single coil and a PAF style humbucker. Yeah. Like you yeah, don't get sure. overtly bright tones. Like it can get bright for sure, but like you don't get like over bright, like way too present. Yeah, Nothing harsh. Yeah. Harsh is the word I was looking for that you beat me to. Yeah, guitar. And Devil's Triad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this guitar is uh, one of my favorites. It, it can do it's, everything. It's sweet. Uh, oh, the other thing I should mention, it's got mini Grovers. This is like one of the few guitars that Gibson actually put mini Grover tuners. Yeah, actual look at Grovers. That. So tuning stability is what this thing's all about. This is a block of mahogany. I called it earlier a hunk of ma mahogany. Hunk of mahogany? It's <laughs> <laughs> it's a hunk another of band name for you guys. Oh my god, what do we got? Japanorado. Japanorado and Hunk of Mahogany. Uh, Hunk of Mahogany. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that one. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> you can talk now. No, no volume's off. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say that this is just a hunk of mahogany. Hunk of mahogany. It's just a flat piece of wood with a neck that's glued onto it, uh -huh. and it's very resonant. So you get tons of sustain, tons of like just badass. frequencies pushing out of it. Yeah. It's badass. Absolutely. Honestly. You know what the color's called? Uh, I think it's tobacco sunburst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah, I think, and it's funny because. It's not a three-tone sunburst. It, it looks dose. like it's just a dose tone. Dose tone. Dose tone. I'm, I'm seeing the smallest little brown. Oh, look at me leaving that streak. Oh yeah. You know that that last sentence sounds super gross. <laughs> I'm seeing the smallest bit of brown. Look at me leaving a streak. <laughs> <laughs> streak. <laughs> But yeah, this is a phenomenal guitar. We got a Agreed. couple little nicks here and there. Uh -huh. I would say, God, overall condition-wise, I'm gonna take it to an eight out of ten only because of the headstock. But I actually like what it does. So if it was me yeah. personally, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. We absolutely, should get, we definitely need to get a uh, close-up of that. Yeah. Oh, we absolutely will. But like I was saying, I actually like it. So if it was me, I would value that in a nine out of ten condition-wise. True. Most everybody True. else, eight out of ten. Fine. I. You prissy prisses. <laughs> Yeah, quit playing your guitar with your purse. Something. <laughs> I think it's snare, but either way. Yeah, it's, it's it's not important. No, it's not. We don't have to worry about it. You know what is important? What? This instrument. Yeah, <laughs> and its badassness ability. Japanerado Hadouken. <laughs> Do we have to bleep Hadouken also? I don't know. I can't tell what's copyrighted and what's not. Uh, dear well, yeah. lawyers. Be gentle. Be very gentle. We're just doing it sitting in the mountains playing guitar. Absolutely. We're sitting. Bop, bop, bop. Yes. There's like no value in any of these any. things. We have nothing you want. No. <laughs> it's just a hide. <laughs> All right, well, guys. Thanks this has for, been awesome. Thanks for checking out this guitar with us. Les Paul special. P90s. P90s. Tobacco P90s. Sunburst. Absolutely. Hunk of mahogany. Hunk of mahogany. All right, guys. If you like these videos, let us know down below in the comments. Please like it if you like it. And be sure to subscribe. Bye. I'm only doing that once. Later.